Do you have some products that need a makeover? In this video, I'm going to show you some DIYs and some makeup chores that will make your makeup routine much easier. We will rebottle foundation to make it easier to apply, create a custom blush shade to suit our skin tone or maybe dupe some expensive one, repot some concealer, green concealer, to make it more effective and to use it once again, and also do some small makeup fix and twigs to revive the old products. Let's get the most out of these makeup products. Hi, welcome to The Art Up, a place where we enjoy beautiful things, not just in beauty, but in life. Without any further ado, let's get a deep dive into DIYing and makeup chores. So, I've been using these containers to hold my brushes. And while they do the job well, I always find myself digging around for a specific brush. To solve this, I've decided to add some separators. To do that, I lightly trace the outline of the container on the cardboard, cut it out, put it inside to see if it fits, and after a few adjustments, I make sure it's set tightly, add some glue to the bottom to secure it in the place. With the second, I will do the same thing. Trace and cut. And then I also make a cut in the middle only from one side. Make sure they fit the container and crossing them in the middle, stick in the middle of the container. Maybe add some glue to the bottom. Now let's give these containers extra makeover with stickers. I had them for a while, so now it's time for them to shine. Finally, I have well organized and easy accessible brushes. I'm so happy what I did with this container, especially this side. I think it gives you a mermaid core. The only thing that I added is a little bit of hot glue on the side and to the bottom, so the carton insert do not move around a lot. One more thing that I am considering doing is cutting down the bottom of a bigger container, gluing spinner to it, and then gluing one of these containers on top so that my makeup brush holder can actually rotate. I think I'll do it later. If you are interested, please let me know in the comment section below. I will film the process. Ever been so confused about your skin tone that you bought every foundation shade under the sun? Been there? Now I've got a rainbow of regrets and a green character to fix it. Here is Hard Candy color corrector in the shade Sheer Envy. I do understand they were going for Charlotte Tilbury puffs. Hi darlings! But I have no idea how to use it. Before, I squeezed a little on the palette. Imagine me doing air quotes around a little. And ended up with way too much product. I've just finished my Hourglass Veil Primer. It comes with an amazing spatula, perfect for distributing this kind of product. This rebottling was predestined. It's the best decision ever. The mixing of colors has never been easier. The only thing I wish is that I had more containers like this so I can rehome my white characters. So now we're gonna make some liquid peach blush. To tell the truth, I don't have any liquid blush, so I'm not sure what it should look like, but this formula usually works for me. So, a drop of Barbara Strom Glow Drops. You see, I'm going for luminous blush. Add one and a half drops of dewy foundation. I'm gonna scrape a little bit of Real Gar. Mix everything and check the color. Add the necessary adjustments if they are needed. I like that this container 
previously known as Alginis Triple Algae Eye Cream, is glass, meaning the blush will last longer. And now, bedazzling the cap. I have all these crystal leftovers from diamond painting. At first, I trace a cap on a leftover canvas, glue it to the lid, peel off the protective layer, and arrange the crystals in the way I want them to be. You know what? I am just thrilled about the shade I made. It gives you a very nice diffused look. And this color is great as a base for further powder blushes. And the cap is actually top notch. You can't believe, but no rhinestone has left the cap. I've been using it for several days now, and it gives me so much pleasure to see something so bedazzled. My only recommendation is if you are going to do your own DIY blush, I highly recommend use last product because it's always easier to add than to take away. So I finally finished Rimmel Last Ingredients Foundation. We had a very long relationship and I felt bad tossing the bottle. Instead, I cleaned it up and plan to rebottle this Maybelline Poreless Foundation. The shade is a great match for me, but this foundation doesn't have a pump or dropper. You literally have to lean the bottle and pray that not everything will pour out. So instead, I'm planning to put that foundation into this new container. Have a look at this beauty, this new Maybelline foundation. And it also has a pump, finally. I'll get so much use out of it this summer, you won't believe. That was actually a very productive day, chore-wise. Thank you for being with me today. See you next time. Bye.